So if you want to know why Scorpio and Pisces are so keen on each other, or if you're curious about the dynamic that goes on in a Pluto-Neptune relationship, this is the video for you. If you're new here, my name is Denise, I'm an astrologer, but when I'm not doing readings, I like to make these little informative videos to help people incorporate astrology into their everyday life. I put out videos every single week, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and, you know, check out my videos every week. And in today's video, we're going to be addressing the issues that come up in Pisces Scorpio relationships. You could take this as kind of like a synastry video or like a compatibility video, but overall I'm going to be talking about Pisces and Scorpio together and how come I think they are such a good pairing. Okay, so first I have to address this because I know somebody's going to ask, Denise, is this for the sun? Is this for the moon? Is this for the rising? What is this for? This is just for the general energy. If you will know, if you are a Scorpionic Plutonic person, you're going to know I'm talking to you. If you are a Neptune person, a Pisces person, you're going to know I'm talking to you. You're going to know right away as soon as I get into the video. You don't have to be a Pisces sun. You don't have to be a Pisces moon. If maybe you have Neptune conjunct your ascendant, Neptune conjunct your sun, conjunct your moon, Venus, all of those things are going to apply. This is Pluto that I'm talking about and Neptune or Scorpio and Pisces. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. So whenever you're talking about Scorpio, remember that Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. And whenever I talk about Scorpionic people, I generally also mean Plutonic people, people with Pluto high in their chart. So people who have Pluto or Scorpio as a very important part of their chart are going to be dealing with themes of vulnerability and control. And the reason why Scorpios are so obsessed with being in control is because they are very afraid of being vulnerable. They don't want people to hurt them because they know that they actually have a very tender heart. And because of that, you know, they're water signs. And it's kind of difficult for Scorpio to be a water sign because they are so tough. Remember, they're ruled by Mars. And that's a warrior archetype. So they are kind of that warrior archetype, but in water. So it's not very comfortable in that element, right? And so in order to protect itself, because remember that water is always going to be vulnerable because it is very fluid and very easy to injure, essentially. That's what water is, right? So because of this, Scorpio has to put on a shell, has to put on some type of armor to protect itself from being injured. So Scorpios are, in a sense, they're always on guard. And they are going to be attracted to the other water signs, but Pisces in particular, the other water signs being Cancer and Pisces, but Pisces in particular is co-ruled by Neptune, Neptune and Jupiter. But here I'm focusing more so on Neptune. And the thing is that Neptune is a planet that makes everything very dissolved. So Pisces doesn't really have boundaries. So Pisces doesn't really have protection. And Pisces at their very core, their archetype at the worst, most unhealthy level is the archetype of a victim, right? Pisces people and Neptune people have that stereotype of being either they victimize themselves or they are victimized by others. And Scorpio notices this and they notice it for two reasons. The first reason they notice it is because they, they being the warrior archetype as well, they want to protect people who are defenseless. And remember we said that Neptune makes everything dissolve. So your boundaries are dissolved when you're a Pisces person. So you could very easily be infiltrated or injured by others. And unlike Cancer, Cancer can also easily be injured. But Cancer, they're feisty little crabs, you know? I've always said this. I think that, especially Mars and Cancer, Cancer is a very scrappy sign. Like, yes, you can go and mess with the Cancer, Cancer and the cancer is going to cry, but before they cry, they're going to, they're going to bite you back. And so that's why I don't necessarily see Cancer and Scorpio as going along very well together because when Scorpio and Cancer get into a battle, it's just like they're, they're biting themselves back and forth, back and forth. And Scorpio might be more subdued and not have like a volatile emotional reaction that Cancer would have. You know, Cancer, you, you guys know you, you throw your tantrums 
And Scorpio might not do that, but Scorpio will have like a psychological battle with you. And that's how they'll get you back. And Cancer will be so hurt by it because they're another water sign, right? And Pisces, on the other hand, when Pisces is injured or when Pisces is in a fight, Pisces has more of a tendency to break down and just cry or leave or just leave their body or something like that. Pisces isn't necessarily going to fight back. And Scorpio knows this because Scorpio is a psychologist a detective so they know how other people operate before Scorpio approaches you they're going to pretty much know how you are already and they won't approach you for like a romantic relationship if they don't feel comfortable with you if they don't feel safe with you Scorpio needs to feel very safe in order to allow their heart to come out and to be vulnerable with somebody else and for that reason, they're attracted to people who they feel aren't going to hurt them. And Pisces has this thing where Pisces, Venus is exalted in Pisces. So Pisces love is supposed to be, you know, the most highest form of love that you can experience as a person if you have Venus in Pisces or if you are loved by a Venus in Pisces. They love you with a love that is the highest form. They are always going to see the best in you. So Scorpio already has an understanding of how Pisces is, of how Pisces is not going to hurt them back, how Pisces is going to retreat rather than attack them if they're ever in a disagreement, in a fight. Because you know, people fight. People in relationships fight. It doesn't matter if you love each other so much every relationship has fights even if you have a really good relationship don't let anybody tell you that people don't fight if you're in love you don't fight that's not true you're going to fight the important thing is to fight the right way and not hurt each other and so cancer because cancer is very emotionally volatile and reactive cancer is reactive because remember cancer is protecting their core self their ego so cancer in order to protect themselves they could tell you something really mean in it in the heat of the moment they'll just destroy you. That's why I think that cancer is a, a sign to be reckoned with. And there's this quote that always reminds me of Pisces. It's a quote about how it's very easy to love something lovely, but it's very difficult and a higher form of love when you love somebody who is imperfect or who isn't lovely or who is monstrous in a way. And Scorpio, especially Scorpio sons, have this I think Scorp all of Scorpios, but particularly the sun, I feel that they feel like they're bad, like there's something wrong with them, like because they go through such intense emotions and they have dark thoughts sometimes, it's natural, you know, they're ruled by Pluto, Pluto rules like sewers and hell and death, like these are dirty, dark, bad things that are being ruled by Pluto and Pluto rules Scorpio. So Scorpios are experiencing and living a difficult life and it can cause them to feel like they are not worthy of a pure love, of purity because they spend so much time, like not to be rude, but like in the gutter, so to speak. Scorpios can sometimes have very difficult, painful lives. And people who experience hard things can get this idea of themselves that they can never have like a normal love or like somebody who's good cannot love them. Scorpio can feel that way about themselves and they could kind of get into this like cycle of I feel like I'm bad so I'm gonna do bad things because like it's I can't be good anyway like might as well just do bad because I can't be good and they can get into this cycle. Um, so they can go through dark moments in their lives and that can cause them to feel like they don't deserve or they'll never have a pure good love. Here comes Pisces. Pisces has this idea of themselves that at the end of the day, they just want to be good. More than anything, they just want to be good. And because of this, Pisces can show love to somebody who has done something uh, something bad or who is a bad person or somebody who has gotten into trouble or somebody who is just like a bad boy, so to speak, you know? So Pisces can have this pure love for this person no matter the mistakes that they've made in the past or the bad things that they've done in the past. They could love them. And Pisces... Mina got into this in her video. She might have she said something about how they could mutually heal each other. And I think that that is very possible. 
And I also think that it's very difficult, in my opinion, to heal yourself through somebody else. I think that you heal yourself by yourself, but somebody's love can make you feel whole in a way that makes you heal yourself. And that is the way that I see it. So essentially the reason why Scorpio loves Pisces so much is because they know inherently that Pisces is not going to hurt them. And that no matter what they've been through in the past or what they do, Pisces is always going to love them. What I've noticed is that particularly Scorpio sun males, so like the masculine planets, maybe not the moon. The moon is gonna have like those broody feelings inside, but the sun has a tendency to behave in a more scorpionic way, so to get into dangerous things, right? And I've noticed that particularly the sun males, they do go for women that they look I can also see Virgo there too because Virgo also has like that whole like virgin archetype situation going on and they like girls or women who don't look dangerous to them because they themselves are dangerous and they don't want somebody who's also going to be dangerous. Pisces can also have this whole like savior complex situation going on. So Pisces can feel that they have to save Scorpio from all the bad things that they get themselves into. As I've said, like it's, it's more the Scorpio suns and maybe the risings, but possibly more so the sun because the sun is very like, it's out, outgoing and dynamic. And they have a tendency to get into trouble. So Pisces can have this feeling like, I'm going to love you so much that you're gonna behave yourself. You're not gonna do those bad things anymore. You're not gonna hurt yourself. And they could get into this dynamic where the Pisces like victimizes themselves. I think somebody said this in Mina's video, like why didn't you include the negative? Well, she was fo focused, her video wasn't like, oh, let's expose this. Like it wasn't supposed, it wasn't meant to be a negative video. So now let's get into the negative part. Let's get into the negative dynamic that could go on between Pisces and Scorpio because it's definitely there. Pisces can, be a victim. They could play the victim role. They could put themselves in a victim role and take a lot of abuse essentially. And Scorpio, particularly the sun, maybe Mars, can have a tendency of these volatile behaviors that are meant to manipulate. Because again, whenever you're talking about Pluto, there's going to be some manipulation going on. And of course, this is not every Scorpio sun. Like this isn't, this is an unhealthy behavior, right? And being a victim and victimizing yourself would be an unhealthy Pisces behavior. So if you put two people that are in unhealthy states and you put them together and they're playing out their negative archetypes, then yeah, you're going to have somebody who's the victim and the other one who's the aggressor. And they could definitely feed on each other in that way because Pisces, has this tendency of being like, no matter what you do, I'm going to show you that my love is pure. And no matter how bad you are and how horrible you are to me, how horrible you are to the world, no matter how desolate you feel and how low and in the ground you feel, I'm always going to love you. And Pisces will do anything to prove that to you, to show you that they love you no matter where you are in life or you know or how bad you are how bad you feel and how bad you behave pisces is still going to love you at the end of the day and scorpio does have a tendency to test you i don't know if you guys know this but scorpio tests people to see how loyal they are how much they love them so because scorpio as i said especially the sun can have a tendency to feel like oh i'm like I'm not worthy of this pure love. I'm not worthy of love. So this person doesn't even love me. So let me just like do this like messed up thing and they're gonna leave anyway. That's what Scorpio like thinks like, oh, this person's gonna leave. So I'm gonna do this messed up thing to see if they leave. And then they don't leave and they don't leave and they keep not leaving. And eventually they're like, oh, this person isn't gonna leave. And then they could like cool off and stop being so messed up. But they could do that. They definitely can do that because Scorpio will test you. They'll test your loyalty and see how deep your love is for them. Because as we've already said in a bunch of videos, like Scorpio loves so deeply. Their biggest goal is to be one with another person, to melt souls with somebody else. And Pisces wants that as well. All the water signs want that. They want to be very close. But the closeness is different because Pisces wants to completely disappear. Oh, and let me talk about the final thing. The other reason 
reason why Pisces and Scorpio are so like this is because think about Pisces in their negative state. They have a tendency of leaving their bodies, leaving responsibility, just completely becoming a spirit. That's what I call it, like becoming a spirit. They want no responsibility. They want to just float around like a spirit. And who in the zodiac, aside from Saturn and Capricorn, wants control? Pluto wants control. And you have a person, Pisces, who wants to completely have no responsibility and just let go. They want no control whatsoever. They don't want to be in control of anything. They don't even want to be in control of themselves. And then you have somebody else who wants to be in control of themselves and somebody else. They would like to be in control of somebody else because then that somebody else can't hurt them. So then it's a perfect dynamic. One person doesn't want any responsibility and the other one wants all of the control. So of course, that that works out perfectly especially if you're in un if you're in an unhealthy state so you're going to be drawn to one another are there good things about pisces and scorpio coming together definitely i think that the level of trust that a pisces and a scorpio can accomplish is unmatched because especially because pisces has that tendency of not biting back whenever you're fighting. And my friend Nina calls this Scorpio double standard. She says that I crack the Scorpio double standard because as I've said, I've had like important Scorpio moon people in my life. And whenever I'm fighting with them, this is a pro tip from the Scorpio whisperer to you. If you're ever fighting with a Scorpio, Scorpio moon, and you really love them and they're fighting with you, don't tell them anything back. If they say something hurtful, just don't, don't say anything hurtful back because if you hurt them, like that's it. And whenever they're telling you hurtful things, they don't actually mean it. Like they don't mean it. They're just trying to hurt you because you hurt them. And just don't tell them anything mean back and you'll win their love. If you get into arguments with them and you stay and you're nice, then you're gonna win their love like forever. So that's my biggest tip. That is the Scorpio double standard. <laughs> they can tell you something mean in an argument because you accidentally hurt them, but don't you tell them something mean back because that will really hurt them way more than it hurts you, unless you're a Scorpio moon too, in which case, like, that's rough. <laughs> Scorpio also has this feeling that, I've talked about this before as well in the Scorpio Mars video, they feel like they wanna protect those that can protect themselves. And Pisces, you know, one of their archetypes is that of being very, you know, weak because they are so kind that they don't defend themselves sometimes. And so Scorpio sees this and Scorpio wants to help. Scorpio wants to protect the Pisces. It's like that whole, you know, damsel in distress situation sort of. And Scorpio does want to be, you know, the knight for the Pisces person. So this can happen too. And Scorpio, the reason why they are so drawn also to protecting Pisces is because Scorpio is like obsessed with seeing the darkness in the world. Like they are experts at knowing the dark things in the world. And Neptune people, Pisces people, see the world through rose-colored glasses. So they're very trusting, they trust others and they're very open and they're very innocent because they feel that everybody is like them. Like they feel like, oh, everybody, like why would somebody wanna hurt me? Like why? Like I don't understand. So Scorpio is like, what do you mean? Like people are bad, people do bad things. And for that reason, Scorpio wants to protect like this innocent little Pisces person who sees the world through rose colored glasses. So that's another reason why they're attracted to people uh, who have Neptune or Pisces. And Cancer, Cancer is very sweet, but Cancer is not very, Cancer will protect themselves. You know, it's, it's a crab, it has a shell. And this shell is like this tough exterior. They just want somebody to love them. They want somebody to hug them and take care of them. But first and foremost, they're gonna protect themselves. And if they let you in and you poke them in their little crab belly, they're going to like pinch you with their little pincers. Like they immediately are. They're very quick. They're very emotionally reactive cancers. And Pisces, they're ruled by Neptune. They're slow as hell. Like you could say something rude to a Pisces and they'll just be like, they don't understand that you've injured them or that you're trying to injure them. They just don't understand it. That's just not how they operate. So I think it's a really good relationship dynamic between two healthy individuals, a healthy Pluto person and a healthy Neptune person can just, they can be best friends forever. They can be soulmates for life. And 
So that's what I think guys. I think that Scorpios and Pisces people make really wonderful relationships. They can really trust each other and they can let each other in. You know, Pisces is very open and wants to melt with somebody else and Scorpio wants that too. They really want that intimacy. And imagine Scorpio being intimate with somebody that you know isn't going to hurt you, that you 100% know is never going to hurt you. Because no matter how much you guys get into things, they've never hurt you. They prove you time and time again that they're not going to hurt you, that they're always going to be there, that they're not going to leave. Scorpio loves that shit. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, anything else that you want to know about Scorpios, I'm unofficially dubbing myself the Scorpio Whisperer. So if you have any other Scorpio questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of the video. Who else do you think is super compatible with Scorpio? I also kind of like Virgo because of, for that same reason, Scorpio and, I mean, Virgo and Pisces are on that axis of like self-service, you know, self, <laughs> not self-service, of service. So they want to be of service to others. They're very other focused. And I like, I like, I also like Libra for Scorpio, but Scorpio likes intensity. So they're going to want water. So even though Virgo, I think is really good and Libra also, because they're, they're, they're focused on the partner, but Virgo can be, you know, as we know, Virgos can be a little bit critical. So Scorpio is not going to be too keen on on the criticism and Libra can maybe not be like heavy enough for the Scorpio because Scorpio likes the darkness. They like that the Pisces has suffered. They want to save them from that suffering. They don't want them to suffer anymore, but they like that they've suffered. They feel, they want to know that they're saving somebody because they have this like, they want to save somebody who's in danger. It's just how they are. They're very like chivalrous sort of people, the Scorpios, even though, you know, they could be bad, but so can everybody else. But yeah, that's the video for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.